And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Just going back again, and uh, this is going to be the off-season videos. We had a lot of guys in the leaving. One of the big ones was Brock Marion, as he was uh, one of our good guys back there in the secondary. So seeing him retire was definitely a big hit, as we will speed forward through a lot of what we had to do here. As basically, I ended up re-signing most of the guys that I felt like was a, a big turnout for our team. So guys like Robert Porcher, and uh, we ended up ke keeping Jason Hansen and all that. So that way we could make sure that we had a good kicker on our team. This added also to Sean Rogers or somebody else that we needed to keep. We ended up keeping uh, both our tight ends, so having Fitzsimmons and them was a big key. Uh, we did get rid of some of our wide receivers, but we kept Ty Streets and uh, Reggie Swinton as we were going to be seeing if we can maybe build off guys like that and see if we can potentially uh, keep the offense that we've had, maybe even improve on it. So uh, you're basically just seeing all the re-signings that I did here with all the expired contracts that we had uh, one of the big issues that i do find myself running into is around this time i usually end up signing uh, more guys than i need and i just feel like i don't want to leave a hole in the team so sometimes i end up going into the free agency and overspend and i definitely spent more than i needed to in this one as you'll see uh, maybe later in the video then we started to look around in free agency as we moved forward to there. Decided that we were going to look at a few guys there. Uh, they didn't really have a whole lot of uh, guys in the draft. We just had to pick up Roundtree there, as you saw. As uh, we were uh, just trying to fill in some holes that were just not there. And uh, we uh, also picked up Ryan Diem as Diem also came onto the team. So there are guy, a couple of guys that should be able to help fill the holes that we have on that line and with our new strategy you should be able to do something with them joseph jefferson definitely one of those guys that i love having on my team as he usually makes a big impact especially with interceptions as he is a really good coverage guy and has some pretty good speed as well uh really thought about picking up a uh, defensive tackle pat williams because uh, i mean i'm sorry i'm a vikings fan i always loved having him on the team as he was a good force but we decided we were going to just lean against adding guys to the line just yet. Um, I did uh, end up burning quite a bit of my picks and stuff like that. So I'm just going to have to try and see with uh, picking up some late bloomers in the draft and seeing if we can potentially make something out of them there. Um, we'll definitely show the draft here in just a bit. As uh, you see Tyrone Carter, when we add him, to the team we decided to pick him up and Tyrone Carter is definitely going to be one of those guys we'll be looking forward to seeing him with the uh, feeling of Brock Marion being gone. Then we uh, continue on to the NFL Combine so a few guys that uh, came in here to look at will uh, definitely go over the roster uh, for certain when that comes about here in this video and then Hopefully, uh, at this point today, I'll be trying to see if I can also record the first week of the new season for Season 2. I'll be trying to see if we can push into the playoffs a bit deeper and hopefully get our first Super Bowl. So definitely have to try and see how well that's going to work. We just still had some team needs that we needed to try and fill up, and uh, quarterback was definitely one of them. So we took a look at a number of those guys and thought about trying to see if we could draft somebody good uh, I did want to look for somebody that was a bit speedy but uh, the guys I ended up getting were just not going to work out I did get a couple of good uh, potential players that were definitely going to be a uh, key in trying to see if we can improve this team a bit more as um, after the draft we ended up doing what we possibly can is we picked up uh, a big first round pick and that would be this guy right here dave walters who ended up being a huge huge player for us as i bounced around trying to see who would be a potential uh, player that i would add to my team 
as you see here, I ended up missing and passing on Walters and stuff, but then I picked him up in the second round as he was still around, and uh, he ended up being an 81 overall after the preseason, so it was definitely huge seeing him. Uh, and it was just for whatever reason, I just do not have the best when it comes down to the combine and come down to the draft, but uh, thankfully Walters was a good guard that we found, and he should be a good one for a long time coming, so I should be able to see some good protection coming out of him as we pick up a number of the guys like Wood out of the draft, some of the players that I did uh, scout and that I felt like would be a pretty decent uh, number of guys that we could use. Uh, and then eventually we get around to the signings, and uh, Dave Walters was definitely our big guy out of that. And then uh, Weber was not really a bad quarterback, a good 72 rated quarterback he did have a little bit of trouble with uh, some of his stats um especially i believe uh it was either that his speed was horrible or his accuracy one of the two but I ended up doing what i could there by picking up these guys for certain and now we'll just get into everything else for season two so we'll see you there Okay, now we're going to get into the players now as I've got the offseason finished. And, uh, oh boy, I had to make some drastic changes. So let's get into it. I'm going to be going over extensively what I have done in this. And I'm not the best at drafting. I'm not the best at signing players at proper positions. The only thing I've been really good at is making sure my team needs are set. I've got a few extra outside linebackers and some rookies that I want to see if I can develop and hopefully be able to get some guards uh, set up as well. That way we can have some protection on this line. That was our main problem. Uh, this year, I'm going to be doing some things a bit differently, and I kind of fell back on one of my favorite players, and uh, so we're going to get into that here. Um, we'll go ahead and check the injury report and everything like that. Uh, Reggie Swinton had a hairline fracture in preseason. He's going to be out for another week, so he might and might not be in the lineup in week one against Chicago. But as for our game plan, we got ourselves a number of great players. We'll look at the defense first as the defense is pretty much our weak spot, though I did add some good players here so starting on the left defensive end we've got Robert Porcher he's going to be backed up by Hall as Hall is going to be on the other side on the right then we've got Dan Wilkinson the returning leading sack master from last year so with the difficulty up now I shouldn't see numbers like that again Sean Rogers is going to be on the other side there in the middle and trying to help clog things up then we picked up David Thornton I just had to grab this guy out of free agency because they let him go. And I said, no, we're going to get some guys that are good at run stopping. And, well, we got David Thornton. So he's going to be on the right side. Jeremiah Trotter is returning for the middle as we also have George and Rayner back there to replace him if he gets exhausted. Boss Bailey returning as he'll be backed up by Lehman and Lewis And this one as we'll be trying to see if we can continue to make a stand here in this one. I may bounce around a few guys and see how that works. Dre Bly coming back to try and see if he can help out as our right cornerback. And then we brought in Joseph Jefferson. He's one of my favorite players on this game, and he was definitely a good one. He doesn't tackle, but he covers really well, and he's got some good speed. Then we picked up this guy, Bob Vargas. Vargas is a rookie he's going to be starting his career here in the nfl he seems like he's a pretty good coverage guy he's got decent speed so should be able to make some things happen and we also went with tyrone carter tyrone carter is going to be one of our newest additions as he'll be back there at the free safety spot we definitely needed to do that there then I decided to give up about half my draft picks. And I traded our quarterback 
to the Falcons and replacement is going to be Michael Vick. Michael Vick's got the best arm in the game, and I'm going to be looking to see if I can take advantage. We drafted Weber here, as Myron Weber is going to be our backup. We'll be trying to see if we can develop him into a franchise quarterback, so that way we can move forward. And then we also have Bradley as one of our late rounders that we picked up. Kevin Jones is going to get the start at the halfback position, while Larry Johnson is going to be a good secondary option. We'll probably use him as a dual threat. We also have Corey Selesinger, which I'll be trying to see if I can actually get him involved a little more in the offense, but with this new playbook system, I've got it's going to be a little difficult. Roy Williams and Charles Rogers will be back as they'll be on the left-hand side. Now I've got Santana Moss and Ty Streets there on the right-hand side as Moss has been moved out to the very end. We'll be trying to see if we can take advantage of his speed as he's going to be a big threat. Alexander and Fitzsimmons will be back with Banta warming the bench behind them. Then uh, our left tackle, Butler, is going to be in there. and We're going to have, uh, excuse me, a little bit of an issue here. I have got Bacchus and Diem. That's going to be the guys that we'll be looking to try and see if we can keep the guys off our quarterback. And then Walters is going to be back there on the left guard. He's going to be our guy that we drafted. So Dave Walters should be a big, big addition for us. Rayola back in the middle as he's going to be seeing if he can protect our guy once more. Then Woody is going to be the big right guard that we have here, and Bacchus will be the right tackle. So hopefully we'll be able to keep our quarterback healthy this season. So definitely going to be looking to see what I can do in this one here as I move Butler over here a bit, try and see if we can get some uh, good blocking here. And uh, see if we can actually develop a bit of a run game. So special teams, we have moved Fernando Bryant there to kick returning with Bryson. They should be able to make something happen. Then Rivera is going to be on the punt returns as he's one of our lesser receivers. I believe he'll be actually a good addition there. So we'll be seeing what we can do. Now we're going to go into the playbook and I'm going to show you all the formations and things that I've got into. So it's going to take me a little bit to get used to this one. So going with our classic eye pro, that's gonna be our main one there. And then decided to add eye jokers. So a lot of rollouts and stuff like that. In this, we also have eye jokers pair to try and get us a big, big step there. Going back with the doubles formation and quads as well to see if we can open up our guys in the slot. Uh, we also have trips that we're going to revisit as we'll be having a lot of plays there, especially a lot of the rollouts to take advantage of Vic's speed and see if we can do something there. Then we have Ace Bunch. It took me forever to find out who had this, and it was the Baltimore Ravens who had uh, Ace Bunch. They were one of the guys. Uh, the other formation I'll definitely say later, uh, F-Wings Joker. Uh, this uh, formation now, the Patriot playbook, looks like it's going to be a real big setup there for us. Ace Quads, excuse me, was the formation I was looking for that the uh, Ravens had. Uh, Ravens, I only had the one play with Ace Screen Strong. I wanted to try and see if I can get a screen pass to work, so I may be visiting Ace Quads a bit this season. So we'll see how well it does. Strong Eye Jokers will be helping us out as we do have a number of good rollouts out of this formation. Uh, we also have Split Jokers, which will definitely give us a, an opportunity to be able to set up some confusion. We have Bunch left. And then a little bit of the gun formations. I didn't have utilization of shotguns, so I decided to bring out Guns, Trips, Left, Trips, and then quads left. I do not have a single shotgun. I do like having my protection back there. So we're just going to back out of that. The schedule for this season is going to start off with the Bears. Then we go visit the NFC East. Taking on the Giants, Cowboys, and Redskins back to back to back. Then we get a bye week. Then we visit California. 
or excuse me, California comes to visit us as the 49ers will come to town. Then we got to take on the Miami Dolphins. The Buffalo Bills, who were a big beast last year, will be coming up against us. Then the Patriots. Then we get back into the NFC North as the Vikings and Pack will show up. Then the Bears for round two. Then we get a break as the Eagles will be hosting, or excuse me, well, we'll be hosting the Eagles. And then the Pack and Vikings going to show up. Then we finish off the season taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who we eliminated from the playoffs last year, and the New York Jets, who we had to borrow Santana Moss from. So I know this uh, video is going to be the one that's going to be the tail end of my introduction. So I hope you guys are interested in seeing the new season. I hope it brings a lot of fun. So it's going to be very interesting to see what I can do with this. I hope you have a great rest of your day. May God bless you.